Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make low calorie pancakes. It's super easy, super simple, doesn't take many ingredients at all. So we have sugar-free maple syrup, powdered peanut butter by Macro Mike, frozen strawberries, a bit of sugar-free sweetener, and some protein pancake mix by MyProtein as well. None of this is sponsored. If you want to get supplements, allstarnutrition.com, use Mendoza for 10% off. Plug that shit. <laughs> so to get things started, two scoops of the protein pancake mix, and it literally takes probably five to seven minutes to get the whole thing done. Amazing dessert or breakfast if you are dieting. So you got one tiny scoop of this sugar-free sweetener. Put that in there. And now you can mix it with 100 to 150 grams of water or almond milk. I prefer to use water just to keep the calories as low as possible. Really doesn't take many ingredients. It's super simple. So if you're a lazy piece of shit like me and don't like to spend too much time cooking, pretty good hack. That's 149, that's good enough. Keep mixing it until it's nice and thick. You don't want it too watery. Otherwise the pancake becomes a little bit too liquidy. So just spray a little bit of olive oil not too much and for two scoops you can probably make two well-sized pancakes slap that bitch Pow. just leave it on the pan until it has a golden color another thing that you should do between each pancake is to just maybe respray the pan so it doesn't get stuck to it let's see if you can flip this shit fuck man's a chef when you are putting the mixture on the frying pan, you don't want to do the whole pan. I used to do that in the past and it kind of destroys the pancake. So just be careful when doing that. That's another one done. Stack that on top of that one. All right, now that we're just waiting for the final pancake to get cooked, we're just going to chuck our strawberries in the microwave. It's a little bit frozen. I forgot to put it in the fridge. Frozen strawberries taste great when they're not completely frozen. So I like to either refrigerate it or, you know, heat it up in the microwave for maybe 10 to 15 seconds. All right, so our strawberries are nice and warm. So that's 200 grams of strawberries. For those those of you that are dieting, strawberries is a great hack. Super low in calories, super sweet. Now the next thing I would do is grab my powdered peanut butter and we're gonna use it as a, almost like a sauce on top of it. And I'll show you what I mean. So 12 grams is one serve. To have a nice thick texture, it's two tablespoons of water. I add a little bit extra for this specific purpose so it's a little bit more watered down. Just mix it until it has that nice creamy texture. You don't want it too thick, so you kind of want that kind of consistency. And then when you're done with that, you kind of just want to spread it. Honestly, you could probably get away with a little bit more water um, to make it a little bit more creamy. At the end of the day, it's just based on preference and what you like to do. Finally, add your sugar-free maple syrup. I like to use the one by Queen. 35 grams, and you just want to spread it over just like that. And that's pretty much it, guys. That easy, that simple, and it doesn't take long at all. You can add low-calorie ice cream on top of it if you have the caloric budget. This is not sponsored at all. My protein reached out in the past, but I decided to work with All Star Nutrition. I just genuinely like using their pancake mix. I ordered like five kilos of pancake mix with a wide variety of different flavors. At the time, they only had unflavored, and that's why I use the sugar-free sweetener as well. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment below. Give it a crack, let me know what you think, and it's honestly a game changer. It tastes fucking amazing. Again, super simple, super straight to the point. And if there's anything else you guys want to see in the future, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get that out to you.